Hey everybody, welcome back to New Toy Robot. I am Michael Jason Francis, and on tonight's unboxing, and a little look back into 1989, we will have... Boom, 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 the 1989 Batman figure. Now, I can... <laughs> I cannot say the name of this company for some reason. SHF, wait, no, SHF Figure Arts? Figure Arts? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. But eh, there it is. It's on there for you. You figure out how to say it yourself. Uh, <laughs> Bandai, this is released with Bandai. And I think Bluefin is the company that releases this over here in the States. It is, uh, I believe, a... Uh, Japanese China or Japanese uh, Japanese company I'm not sure anyways uh, <laughs> these figures um, the p figures from that I've seen before have just incredible detail and I missed the sideshow um, version of this Batman figure uh, yeah let, let, okay you know what? let me back up let me back up hold on in 1989 when Batman came out which was June 23rd, 1989 I know because I was there when it came out uh, at the movie theater I think I was I wasn't the first person in line I was like the second person in line and this guy in front of me I remember he had just like Batman trading card like old stuff though like all these old memorabilia of Batman stuff that he was holding with him to see the movie with um, and I remember waiting in line to see it and watching it and just being completely shocked and blown away um, okay, hold on real quick. <laughs> this is not for distraction purposes. I cut my finger today and I looked all over the apartment and all I could find was a Finding Dory uh, Band-Aid. Well, two Finding Dory Band-Aids. <laughs> so that's what this is. So I'm sorry if it's distracting. I'll try and keep it down here. It's out of the frame. Anyway, um, so 1989, June 23rd, Batman. Did you know, and I didn't really know this, that it took like 10 years to get this Batman movie made? Um, I'm trying to, it was like October 3rd, 1979 is when the rights for Batman were finally obtained through, I'm sure, money, favors, who knows what, uh, by a gentleman by the name of Michael, uh, I'm going to say, uh, uh, Uslan. Um, he wanted to make a serious Batman film. Now this is 1979. People, most of, most of the people who didn't weren't reading the comics knew Batman from the Batman 1966 TV show, the Pow Wham, very comic, cartoony kind of a, a show. So nobody really wanted to make a Batman film at all, and especially the fact that it was going to be a serious Batman film. You know, comic book movies, other than Superman. Uh, Richard Donner and Superman were pretty much tongue-in-cheek and kind of goofy and silly. Um, so when this, when Michael wanted to make an actual serious Batman film, he had a lot, a lot of pushback. As far as like making a movie or a TV, Batman was kind of like dead in the water. But what was really cool was during the 70s, I think with Neil Adams and a couple of the other writers, Batman's storylines were very a lot more mature. And so I think Michael was trying to bring forth what was happening in the comics, you know. Um, so to have this dark version, I always thought when I heard it, it was Tim Burton. It was Tim Burton that wanted this dark and serious Batman movie. But it was actually Michael uh, Uslan um, who wanted this. So 10 years. Could you imagine 10 years trying to put something together? I mean, that is just... That's insane. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it took 10 years to get the, the, the serious Batman movie on the screen. And, you know, if you watched uh, the, um, the Lego build, which I'm doing now, is the 1989 Batmobile. And Ryan and I were talking about last Wednesday, which, by the way, this coming Wednesday is another Lego build with that Batmobile. Um, we were talking we were ta about how when we first saw the trailer, it, was, it, was, it wasn't like it was vague but as a kid there's so much happening during that trailer that you didn't know what was going on batman was all in black if they i, I kind of remember them kind of showing it 
him like he was holding something going, I'm Batman. Like, he was all in black. There was the bat wing, which looked like the bat symbol, but it was, you know, it worked as a plane. Um, coming down from the sky, like, there was so much speculation in my head about what was going on. So when I finally got to see it, I was, I was really shocked. Because it wasn't, I didn't know what to expect, I guess. But it wasn't what I was expecting. Jack Nicholson as a Joker, which I liked. I did like. I was okay with it. Um, he wasn't like the Joker I expected to see. Um, but he still worked as that Joker. Uh, other incarnations of the Joker I haven't been a huge fan of. Um, Jared Leto, you know. Even Heath Ledger, I didn't really... It wasn't That wasn't the Joker for me. That wasn't really... The, he, when he was... I, I mentioned this on the other show. When he was the nurse... When he, that scene when he's a nurse and he's trying to blow everything up and he's talking to Harvey Dent, that for me was, that was the Joker. Um, everything else was just, I don't know. He, it was just, I don't know. The whole, I mean, talk about scars and all that. I mean, who cares? Um, <laughs> but I digress. Um, so to, so this Batman has, it really kind of resonated with me. Um, and you notice they've kept Batman's suit, except I think Joel Schumacher at some point ended up making it kind of a silverish color. At one point, I don't know. Anyways, he's, he's always had that darker suit with him. So he's always been in black, even with the Christian Bale and stuff like that. Christopher Nolan's has always had that black outfit. They never tried to make him blue and gray and with the yellow from uh, those comics during the 80s and stuff and even comics now. But um, it's still, it's kind of changed the way superhero films were made. I mean, the X-Men movies, they're caught. I mean, you can't look at the first X-Men movie and go like, yeah, well, that's clearly they're influenced by tim burton's batman i mean they're, they're all in leather they got the black the black outfits they've completely threw out the color palette of what would be the mutants uh normal costumes and did this so it really did kind of change the way superhero films were made i they said i, I read somewhere they said it was like it was the first summer blockbuster film which maybe it kind of was but i honestly i kind of feel like maybe the star wars movies did that you know, they, weren't they like coming out? They came out in like May, and May's kind of summerish, I guess. I don't know, but that's just something red. Anyway, before we get into opening this bad boy, uh, I want to talk a little bit. If you started, if you watched last Monday's with Robocop, I want to talk about the film, the the year the film came out. So we're gonna talk about 1989 for a bit. Uh, I get this information from the PeopleHistory.com. I have no affiliation with them. I just dig them because they really are very thorough about what's happened during those different years and they they start from the early on to the current i mean th there's a lot of information on here um so i'm going to start with the cost of living stuff because this is always just cracks me up and i've noticed like i was able to watch about you know from 1982 for robocop and and then for me i'd like to watch how um things would escalate like the prices would change like for gas especially um but uh, da, 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 a ham and cheese pizza was two dollars and fifty nine cents. You know, I think you can probably get like a five ninety nine ham and cheese pizza from like Little Caesars, but you know that's inflation right there. Um, ooh, Ghostbusters tabletop pinball game was only nineteen eighty five. I wonder how small that was. There's no way that was a full size table. Um, let's see. Uh, oh wait, did, let's see. Hold on. Average month for rent was four hundred and twenty dollars. I don't even want to tell you how much I have to pay for rent out here in LA. It's ridiculous. Four hundred twenty. I one time I paid five hundred dollars for a studio apartment in Los Feliz. That was a long time ago. But that would never happen. Never happen nowadays. Unless like you live with your parents and they're like, "You're over eighteen. You have to pay for rent here for five hundred dollars." Um, uh, a BMW was only twenty one thousand. Mere child's play. You could afford that. I guess then. Uh, postage stamp was 25 cents. I remember that for a while. The average cost of a new home was at $100,020. That's it. That makes sense. Did I say that right? $120,000? $120, yeah. Anyways, that was the average price of a home. Uh, <laughs> um, it's so funny. I've had 1989 stuck on my head. stuck on the brain for like weeks now. I was having that issue during the RoboCop unboxing where I kept saying instead of 1982, I kept saying 1989. Um, but, <laughs> oh, Hatter's here. Hatter AP. It's true. Hi. Hi, Hatter. Um, you will see him on Wednesday. Um, nice to see you. Uh, <laughs> um, 
I'm trying to see what else was happening because like my memory of 1989 I don't I like nothing really stuck out other than seeing this movie so I need to look back to find out what this stuff was happening um yeah, I don't know that is. Let me, I want to see the movies. Here, the USSR pulls out of Afghanistan. Did you know that happened? I didn't. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Tokyo stock market crashed. Ends Japan's long period of high economic growth. Sorry, Japan. Uh, let's see. Uh, free elections in Poland. No. Where's the movies? Where's the movies? Where's the movies? Um, wow, it like it breaks down like what happened in each in different different parts of the country. Uh, 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 ooh, oh, George Bush Senior becomes the president of the United States. Remember when he like threw up on like the Japanese prime minister? <laughs> Sorry, that just popped in my head. I remember that because you could watch the video and you see him go onto the guy's lap. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, Let's see. I, the Mirage Hotel and Casino opens in Las Vegas for the first huge resort hotel. There you go, 1989. That started the huge resort hotels in Las Vegas. Uh, oh, wow, Lexus. And it's funny, they write down that it's Toyota's luxury brand. Uh, Lexus came out in 89. Okay, I'm jumping past this. What is Sky TV launched in the UK. Ooh, I actually know that. So Sky TV, that's cool. Um, not yet. Oh, wow. Oh, this was the, in 1989. That was when uh, the Exxon Valdez spilled, wow, 240,000 barrels, 11 million gall gallons of oil after running aground. Do you remember the Exxon Valdez, that type of, that thing? That was, that's, that was a mess. Um, okay, hold on, hold on. Where's the movies? Where's the movies? Ooh, technology, hold on. Uh, ooh. What? Nintendo began selling the Game Boy. Is that true? I thought it was like in the 90s. But maybe 89, that makes sense. Um, I don't know what that is about a microprocessor. Ooh, first release of Microsoft Office. There you go. So some things happened in 89. Of course something happened in 89. Everything happens every year. But these are some things that kind of stick with me. Uh, Fashion-wise, I'm not going to show you that, but wow. Eesh. Okay, sorry, moving on. Ooh, a Sega Genesis was $189. That's cool. Did you ever... Did, I think... I remember having a Nintendo and then my brother eventually getting... Yeah, I remember my brother getting eventually uh, a Sega Genesis because uh, they had Altered Beast. That was a really cool game. I wonder if you could play that somewhere anywhere. Oh, Ghostbusters toy set. Look at that. Come with a ghost trap, a proton pack, and those little goggle thingies for twenty one eighty nine. Like, I don't... I used to think, like, toys were cheaper. Like, I thought I remember Star Wars figure being, like, two bucks and stuff like that. But, like, the more I keep looking at this stuff... Um, Xbox is 300, isn't it? Um, how much did I pay for the Xbox? I think I paid. I, I yeah, like around yeah, it's like 299, I think. 299, I think. Well, wait. I mean, maybe for like an Xbox One or something like that, or 360. I think it was. But yeah, Hatter, I think it was like I think it's like 299. But now it's like five, six hundred. I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't looked. My Xbox, my Xbox One is fine. I'm still rocking over uh, the other side of this. I'm still rocking a PS3. Um, I use it mostly for watching movies in the, in the bedroom. <laughs> but um, Oh, here we go. Popular films. Here we go. Okay, so the popular films of 1989, besides Batman, is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Oh, man. I remember waiting, I remember waiting in a big line for that. I didn't get there right in the front. I went there with my dad. I remember the line reaching all the way to 31 flavors and going like, I just want to get out of line and get an ice cream. But, you know, you couldn't because, you know, martial law if you leave the line. Um, but, wow, yeah. That's when the Indiana Jones franchise uh, franchise ended. But, like, you know, well, at least we knew. We were like, that's it. That's the trilogy. That's the three Indiana Jones movies. Little did we know we would get that Indiana Jones 4 and the Crystal Skull. Yeah. I don't know. I remember Indiana Jones being in a being in a refrigerator and a nuclear blast and something about Shia LaBeouf swinging on branches with monkeys, which explains Shia LaBeouf so much now. Um, let's see. Uh, sorry, going back. Leave the weapon to twins. Back to the Future Part Two. Oh my God! There were so many films. I remember going to see that. Hatter, didn't you? I think Hatter, you were with us. It was like you, Matt. 
me, forgot who else. And I remember like seeing that. We brought our skateboards. And I think we brought like a six pack of soda too. <laughs> Not paying those movie theater prices. I do now though. But as a kid, I was rebellious. Um, let's see what else. Wow, Little Mermaid. I remember I saw that on Christmas that year. Oh my gosh. Oh, two and three. Hatter says two and three. That's right, because Back to the Future 2 came out, and then the third one came out at the end of the year? Was that what it was? I feel like, yeah, like that was the Christmas release was part three. The summer was Back to the Future part two. That was so cool, because that was the first time that ever really happened. You know, now you're always getting, you know, they, they're, they'll, now they're filming those back to the back, and you know there's going to be another one. But back then, we were watching part two, and I, I don't know if it was a surprise that there was going to be a third. No. Yeah, no, I guess they were filmed at the same time. Anyways, it was a big thing for that to happen. Um, man, 1989 was awesome. Dead Poet Society? Driving Miss Davy, Daisy. I kind of remember that. It was with that on, on Golden Pond person. Anyways, uh, I remember more of the jokes. Hey, forget it. I'm not going to do that on this. Um, Parenthood, Dead Poet Society. Dead Poet Society. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Um, I'd stand up on this if I didn't know it'd fall apart. Um, uh, License to Kill. Okay. Kids out there who saw um, Daniel Craig doing his dark and edgy James Bond. Timothy Dalton did it already. Back in, like, well, clearly 89. I don't know if that was his first one, License to Kill or what. But, you know, he had a different James Bond. Um, he was an edgier, darker one, and everyone hated it. I didn't. I mean, you know, I was okay with... I had Roger Moore, and, he, you know, he was silly. But Timothy Dalton, I felt, made James Bond more hardcore, you know? And then they brought in Pierce Brosnan, and he was fine. But Timothy Dalton, he he did that. He did, he, he you know, he did what Daniel Craig did. I mean, yeah, Daniel Craig was ripped, except for his tiny little legs. <laughs> Seriously, look at Daniel Craig. He's got, he's all built. He's like, Urgh. but he's got these tiny little legs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. Um, where, uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Um, that came out. That was a great movie. Remember at Disneyland, they had Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. I think that was after Captain EO. Yeah. When Captain EO left, they did Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. Um, and then My Left Foot and When Harry Met Sally. So those are like the popular, that's some popular movies of 1989. That's pretty cool. Um, I also like When Harry Met Sally. My, my taste in movies is just all over the place, you know? Um, sorry. It just is. I like, I love movies. I love film. So I'll pretty much watch anything. Um, doesn't mean I like everything. I do. I have to watch, I have to movie, I watch the movie once, get over the shock and awe, and then I watch it again to decide if I really like it. Um, which I did with Wonder Woman. Uh, the 19, Wonder Woman 1984. I don't know. I have so many dates in my head right now. Whatever, the newest Wonder Woman. I watched it the first time, and I was like, ah, yeah, what what happened? And then I watched it again, I was like, oh, I get it. I see what they're trying to do. It's still too long, but it was really good. Like, I was really sucked into it. Got all teary. I was like, oh, my God, yes. Um, I'm not going to give out any spoilers. Oh, you can't even watch anymore. It's gone. It's no longer on HBO Max. That's crazy. What do you mean no? Hatter says no. No what? Are you talking about Wonder Woman? Did you watch it twice? Anyways. <laughs> Popular Musicians of 1989. Duran Duran. Duran Duran. Paul McCartney. Really? It, watch it again. It's not terrible. He's saying it's terrible. Wonder Woman. Yeah, just do it. Well, you can't. Now you gotta wait. See, you should have watched it again. Now you gotta wait. I'm not gonna pay for it. I'm not gonna buy it. No, I'm gonna buy it. I always end up buying these things. Um, uh, Phil Collins. Prince. Madonna. Oh, Prince is dead. How weird is that? Screech is dead. Screech from Save by the Bell died today. How insane is that? He was 44. Screech from Save the by, by the Bell. R.I.P. Screech. Like that's crazy. Sorry. Um, uh, Prince, Madonna, Erasure, Erasure, Eraser, Erasure. The Bangles, New Kids on the Block. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that. Cher, R.E.M., Depeche Mode, Paul Abdul, Garth Brooks, and Elvis Costello. Yeah. Okay, um, and there we go. That is 1989 for everybody. Um, crazy little year. It's funny. I I just didn't realize how many films. Like, what a way to close out the 80s, you know? Um, 
was to really you bookended a lot of the films that we had kind of all grew up with during the 80s um that's crazy um oh but you know what it didn't yeah it didn't mention back to the future three here now that i know this but i do remember it coming out at the end i thought anyways i'm gonna look that up and i'll find out or you could do it you know what there's a thing called the internet you do it um but yeah that's 1989 how crazy is that um so back to batman 1989 um but yeah, so I had, was it Mattel? Who made those Batman figures for the movie? So they did, so basically what they did, Ninja Turtles? Was Ninja Turtles 1989? Wait, which one? Like the Jim Henson stuff? Sorry, Hatter's asking me. <laughs> he said Ninja Turtles. I'm like, I don't, yeah, sure. Yeah, I like the old Ninja Turtles. Not the third one. Second one's pretty cool, except for that giant shredder. Was that giant shredder in the second one? Um, but I like the Jim Henson Ninja Turtles. Plus, um, what's his name from Sidekicks was actually in one of the suits doing the martial arts. Um, why can't I remember his name? I'll remember as I keep going. Anyway, um, so back to Batman 1989. It was I. I had the figure. So I think it was Mattel. Maybe it was Kenner. So they had all these super friend toys. I'm sure a lot of people remember that, if you're into toys and stuff like that. Had all these super friend toys. And basically what they did is they did do a new sculpt of Batman with his with that outfit. But everybody else was a sculpt from Super Friends. Like, I think, I remember the Joker... Oh, <laughs> Ninja Turtles, 1991, never mind. Let's had her just threw that in. Um, I... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Joker was the Super Friends Joker, just with a different packaging. And oh, maybe and even the Penguin, the Penguin when they had a Penguin figure, and it was Super Friends also. So that was kind of lame. I think there was a Bob figure that looked like Bob. Well, tried to look like Bob from the movie. Do you remember Bob? Uh, remember Bob? You are my number one, and I. You know, he was this, uh, Joker's like number one henchman. I think there was that figure. Um, but anyway, so they had a Batman figure, and I remember, I, I still have my Batman figure, I don't know where he is, but I took, I, I, like, I repainted him, I think I used a Sharpie, I repainted him a bit to make him a little bit darker, and I took off his cape, and I gave him a new cape, and he had this belt that would stretch out and retract that was supposed to, it was weird, so it was supposed to be, so it was supposed to be like his grappling hook, but it was basically the front part of the belt that was connected to the body, and you would pull it out and it would retract. And about after the 50th time you pulled it out, it wouldn't retract anymore. So he just had this limp kind of thing hanging from his waist. That looks weird. I shouldn't have done that. That looks weird. Anyway, I still have the Batman figure. I got to find it. If I find it, I'll bring it on to one of these episodes. But I've always wanted a really cool Batman figure. And I missed... I didn't miss. I just didn't have the money for it. Sideshow had a really cool Batman figure. Um, collectible. And it was just awesome. It was really neat. The cowl couldn't come off, but you can change like the face parts. Um, it was really detailed. It was really cool. I liked Michael Keaton as Batman. I thought that was really neat. I think it worked. You know, um, I thought he was a really good Batman. And if anybody is tied into making a Batman Beyond, the whole futuristic Batman thing, bring Michael Keaton back as an aging Bruce Wayne. That'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. Michael Keaton made a good Batman. I liked him as Batman. You know, and then when you got the second one, you got Michelle Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. It's just like, even Dan, Danny DeVito worked as the, the the Penguin in the second one. Although the, you know, I, when the giant what are the emperor penguins are carrying his body into the water, that was a little much. But anyways, this, 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 this. We're going to open it up. So let's open this up. Okay. There we go. This is it. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. Um, here it is. Hope you can all see that. Ba, ba, ba. Um, I'm curious to see how big this thing's actually, uh, I know how big it's actually going to be because he's right in, oops, sorry, too much glare, right in there. Um, he's got like all these little gadgets with him and I'm, okay, I'm just going to open it. I'm just going to open it. I got my little cutting buddy here, which I'm not going to cut myself with because I did that earlier. Not with this, but with the pair of scissors. Moving on. Cutting the tape. Um, God, I can't, I have no idea. S, S, H, Fig Arts, Fig Arts, Fig Arts, Fig Arts, 
Figure arts. Figure arts. Figure arts? That sounds right. Can't say it. I just can't. Here we go. Okay, let me think. Oh, it's all gold inside. Look at that. It's all shiny. Um, ooh, what is this? It's got this fancy little gold thing there. How's that for a glare? Oh, we got directions. Just in case I don't know what I'm doing. And they're all... Oh, they're in... Eh, there, there you go. Okay, so jaw replacement. Ooh, so this... Oh, that's interesting. It looks like this kind of works like how the sideshow does. Um, so there's... So... If you look right here... It looks like there's jaw replacements and head replacements on this bad boy. Okay? So hopefully this doesn't go out of focus now. Come on, bring it back. I noticed last time it... There we go. We are, we are back in focus. Um, let me take a look at this. So his bat wings, like, flare out. And he can hold all these different weapons. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. This is so cool. I got this guy... When did he come out? He came out last year. I want to say November. Like, around November 1st or something like that. Um, I pre-ordered him, and I've just been kind of holding on to him because I'm like, I'm going to do an unboxing. I've been really wanting to open this up, and I just haven't. Um, but anyways, I'm excited. So, okay. The instructions look pretty simple. He's got different hands to hold different things. He's got little batarangs and ninja stars and that weird little grappling hook thing. Okay. I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to open it. I'm just going to pull him out. Uh, 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 how does this work? There's usually, yep. Yeah, here we go. Sealed for freshness. Oh my god, he looks so cool. Okay. Uh, he's got a bunch of... There's a bunch of hands here. There's a... Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's interesting. So, this thing here... Oh no. Did I just break it? Did I just... Nope. Okay, he just, it, just, it just popped up. Let me put this back. So this is that weird... Remember he pointed this at the Joker? Can you see that? He pointed it at the Joker... Here, I'll do it this one. He pointed this at the Joker, and like it shot off in different ways, the grappling hook thing. I didn't realize, and I'm curious if this is how the movie, it was extended, and it had this support here. So that's probably how he was able to hold his own weight and her weight without like pulling his wrist apart. It had this weird like little, not a bionic, I want to say bionic thing. But um, that's so cool. Okay, so here's the first little, little fun item here. And then... His little grappling gun. Is it going to focus? No. Here, we'll do it to this one. Whoop. His little grappling gun. Did I lose? I feel like I may have already lost a piece in this. How many of these are, is this supposed to come with? Is it supposed to come with it? Oh, well. Maybe it's just one ninja star. It's got a little cool ninja star. Here, I'm just going to drop these. There's ninja star. There's that. There's that. Oh, super cool batarang. Batarang. Do, do, do. Don't mind my little dory. Band-aid here. Oh, man. Okay. The hand detail is so cool. Oh, look. There's no way you're going to be able to see this. Let's see if it works. When he put out his fist. Come on, focus. Okay. When he was fighting the bad guys and he put out his fist and that thing came out, It's he's got a hand with that on it. Oh, my God. I, I love this so much. This is a little. This is a lot more affordable than a, a sideshow collectible figure. It's still going to run you about well. I don't know how much it is now, if unless it's completely sold out. But it, it, it's. I think it was like eighty bucks um, when I got it. But it, it's pretty cool. I mean, the detail on this. It's not hard. That here's one of the heads. It's got some little plastic on it for freshness. Uh, it's not hard plastic. This. Oh God, the the, the detail is really cool. Um, look at this thing. Look at this. I'm Batman. Um, and it's funny too, because the symbol, his, his plate thing, that attaches on there when he switches cowl. So it's neat that they did that for this. Oh, there are two ninja stars. I found it. There it is. Okay, I'm taking Batman out. Oh my god, his cape even feels cool. It feels like, oh man, this is so awesome. 
whatever you're doing right now, go online and buy it. <laughs> uh, hold on. Ha I'm sorry, Mrs. Hatter. Rumor is Keaton will be Batman after Flash. Like, beyond the Flash movie. Oh! Oh, okay. That'll be cool. Um, oh, man. This Batman's awesome. Okay, so that's cool. That'll be cool. Just as long as you get, at some point, he has to play older Bruce Wayne. Kevin Conroy. Kevin Conroy did it for um, those huge crossover events where he played the older Bruce Wayne. It was like the Kingdom Come version of Bruce Wayne. And that was amazing. Okay. Oh, man, this is like the best. You know what? I'm Hold on. Let me get out of this. Back to this. Can we just take a moment to look at how beautiful this is? I mean, look at this cape. It's got, and it's got, you can actually have him hold on to that to make it like the whole Batwing thing. But this is, this is the cape I wanted. I tried to make a cape like this for my, my crummy Batman figure that I had at home. And I can't believe that I, this is, this is amazing. Um, the, the sculpt for the head is really good. Like, look at the body is got like, I mean, this is, this looks, this is exactly the costume from the film and how it was made. I love how they did this right down to the Air Jordans. Weren't they Air Jordans? I thought I remember like he, like they had took Air Jordans for the, the boots and then they added extra stuff on top of it. Like, like, like this stuff, Oops, like this stuff over the shoes. I think they were Air Jordans. Um. It, this is just a really cool. Oh, he's got a little. <laughs> it looks like it looks like a little butt armor. Um, it's he looks really cool. There's no nipples on this suit. Sorry, Joel Schumacher. Ooh, Joel Schumacher's dead. How crazy is that? Anyways, Joel Sch Schumacher put nipples on all the suits. Um, back to this. I'm curious about why were you able. So you have a little bit of teeth showing in this, but I'm wondering why. Are you actually able to take the face out of these things? I don't think that's a real thing. Why would they show that? Huh. I can't. It looks like it kind of comes off. Yeah, it does. It does. Oop. Oh my gosh. I just realized maybe it's just so you can have it displayed as like an extra cowl or something. Um, but the face, the, it does come out. What is happening here? That's weird. I don't know why it does that. I mean... The cowls look the same, so I'm not sure why the face parts come out, except maybe just for the fact, like I said, so it looks like there's a cowl off the side. Who knows? I'm going to try and take his head off, which sounds weird. Oh, my gosh. Like, his rib cage is, like, where the bend is. That's, like, perfect. That is so perfect for articulation for a figure. Um... That is awesome. This is such a great figure. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to try and take... Let me try and take the... Because it says you can take the symbol off. To, yes. Okay. Okay. So that's how the head pretty much... The head has... Okay. So the head... There's a little post that you slide on for the head. And then the symbol locks it all into place. So that's how you're able to switch the heads. So you got that. And then the symbol goes into place to hold it all together. You know, it's funny. Oh, and it's got, Hatter, we talked about this. Oop. The symbol's got that weird stuff on the bottom. So it's not the actual symbol that we were talking about. Um, so that's how that comes off. Does the cape come off too? I don't want to ruin this, but I'm going to see if that cape comes off. No. Okay, cape stays on. Let's get the head back on. Um... I, I'm loving this figure so much. Uh, it even has... So it has the eye holes from the mask. And then it has the, the whites of the eyes. But you can see that it's the black makeup <laughs> like from the movie on it. This is an incredible... This is, this is such... This is such a cool figure. I'm going to have them fight Robocop. Because I think they're about the same size. Uh, let's see if we can have them spread out the wings. Where are those hands? Um, I think it's these. Um, I'm going to try and take the hands off real quick. I'm not going to do it with every one of the hands. Um, but I want to see, um, what's lame? Hatters is lame. What are you talking about? 
I hate not reading the, these things in context. You mean the Batman figure's lame? What's lame? Um, uh, hold on. Let me open this up. You got to explain yourself, Hatter. Uh, you got some explaining to do. Uh, let's see. That will go like that. Okay, these are a little harder to get in there. Oh, boy. I don't... Oh, the symbol. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But you know what? I still love the figure anyways. I still love it anyways. It is really hard to get these hands in there. And you know what I just realized? It's got on the hand. So remember I told you it's got that thing that pops out? It's still... It's on each one of the hands. So it's not like it's like a surprise thing. Um, yeah, the spike tail bat. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. I don't know why. I think Tim Burton was just like, I'm going to try and make it a little more edgy or not edgy, but I don't know. I think he really tried to make everything really organic with this. And maybe he was just hoping that, the, wait, no, that's the same fist. I was putting the same fist on. No problem. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to fix it. Why is, okay. So let me get this one on. I just want him to hold the cape before the show ends. The, the, the hands do not fit in very well. Um, a lot of these things in the NECA figures, if you put the hands in warm water and warm them up a little bit and then stick them on, it works a lot better. It stretches out just a bit. I just want to get these in here so he could do his little Batman thing. Ooh, nothing. Did I grab the wrong ones? There's like 20 of these different types of fists. Maybe this is... Okay. I put on the wrong fist. I'm going to do this real fast. Here we go. Okay. How was the Batman show? The unboxing? Oh, it was great. We watched Michael spend like a half hour trying to put hands on it. <laughs> Sorry. There's this. Okay, come on. Oh, these hands actually fit in better. It's hard because there's a ball joint on the, the, the post for putting it on. And so you've really got to make sure... Is this what's going to do it? I don't, I don't know which ones to use. I don't know why this isn't working. You know what? Before, I'm just going to, hold on. Let me see something. Before I attach his hand back on, I'm just going to shove this in the, aha! Success. You know what? For the sideshow figures, it's always better to take the fists off and then put the weapons or whatever in it. I should have just done that with this, and that's what I'm doing now. So I'm going to put them on this first and then stick him on him and then we can get rolling with him doing his little bat thing. There's one and there's almost two. Look at that! Wow. This It's like the best toy ever. Oh my god. Like there's no way. I like I can complain day and night about my Batman figure when I was a kid. There's no way, one, I'd be able to get the money to buy one of these things. And then two, I would clearly destroy it. There's so many like the articulate it's not it's built really sturdy, but I would lose all these fists. This tiny little ninja star would be somewhere in the carpet, you know, uh, along with these weapons. Um, but this is just, this is like the best thing ever. Oh my God. Look at that. I'm going to play with this for the rest of the night. I, I just can't, you know, I mean... There is too much fun to be had by this. I hate that there's not a Batmobile that fits for this size. I have one, a smaller one. Um, Sideshow even made a Batmobile for their Batman, which was, like, huge. Um, but I hate that there's no Batmobile for this. I wish there was. Um, but this is honestly probably, like, one of the best figures ever. Like, I really like the Robocop figure, but there's only so much you can do with it. There's this, there... I'm going to look into more of these SH figure arts, figure arts. I don't know what it is. I'm going to look up more of these because this is, this is, if they, if all their figures are this cool, I have to see what else they have.
<laughs> oh my stars and garters it's this is just amazing this is just amazing <sighs> anyway thank you for joining me tonight um please come here every monday at 7 15 on twitch uh it's also i also uh send these videos over to youtube so you can watch it on youtube but every monday monday at 7 15 um on twitch with a new underscore toy underscore robot, new toy robot. Um, come play, visit. Uh, Wednesdays we have the Lego build. Friday we have the just draw the damn thing where we actually draw and make some art. We all draw together. Um, so please join me for that. Like, follow, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I try to have new toy robot all over the place. Newtoyrobot.com. You can pretty much check out everything on for Instagram and also on Twitter. But if you want to just look on Instagram and Twitter, at New Toy Robot. Um, so thank you once again. I will see you next Monday. Bye.